Hey YouTube, Rob here. And what I'm working on today is the alternator on my C5 Corvette. This is a 2000 Corvette, which has the solid pulley up front. Uh, I know the O1s through O4s have a clutch driven um, driven pulley, but this is the older style. I think this is from 97 through 2000. And um, I've been seeing some irregularities with my voltmeter on the on the dash. So I decided to rebuild this alternator. And by rebuilding, I mean the voltage regulator and the the brush holder. I'm not going to mess around with the bearings at all because it's it turns fine, it's no noise. I also want to clean up the um, the case. The case looks pretty pretty bad, so I want to see if I can't make that a little bit uh, nicer. But the um, the subject of today's uh, video is to replace the voltage regulator and the brush holder. And I bought my voltage regulator on eBay. It's a this is a Valeo starter or alternator. And this was supposed to be a Vallejo um, voltage regulator. So this is the nuts and bolts of your alternator, other than the, the windings and that. But this is the voltage regulator, and the brushes are down underneath of this. And I'll actually take this off for you so you can see them. But here are the, um, the brushes. And I'm going to put this back on. I'll show you how to use that. So that's just kind of a, a, a cover. And I didn't put that on right. So I will do that. Okay. Still didn't do it right. Hang on. Grab a small screwdriver here and I will push these brushes down into their holder. And there we go. So the brushes are back in its in their holder, and this little uh, contraption kind of holds the brushes in place. So I'm gonna take this apart, show you how to replace this. It's pretty easy, and uh, we'll get started. On my particular starter, there are three nuts that hold on the plastic cover, and they are a 5 16th. Then I'm going to take a screwdriver and carefully pry off this plastic piece. And that, and take the nut off for the positive cable, and that pulls off. And then our voltage regulator is right here. Now, as you can see on the replacement voltage regulator, there are two small holes here that uh, screws go into. And they are hidden by this spongy stuff. And basically, you just have to pry that off. And they're very hard to see, but they're very small screws right here. And I'm going to remove those. And I'm going to be using a 930 seconds nut driver. Okay. Let me get a pair of needle nose. Yep. 
There's one, as you can see, it's a very small screw. And the other one is exactly the same. At this point, we can remove the voltage regulator. Um, one thing to note, let me get a pointing apparatus. There is a cover. Turn the air compressor off. There is a cover over top of the over top of the uh, brushes, and it looks a little different than this cover. This cover has a little handle on it, and the reason for that is this is an installation tool. It's not a cover. The voltage regulator I bought did come with a, a, a an actual cover, which is is basically the replacement for this one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to gently I'm going to gently remove the screws that hold the voltage regulator on. Excuse me. Five sixteenths, and they are nuts, not bolts, and they are the same. They're the same uh, nuts as what holds the plastic cover on. And then we can gently pry up on the voltage regulator. And it comes right off. So your brushes are underneath here. And I'm going to take this cover off so we can take a look at them. tap that cover off and here are the brushes as you can see they have a nice wear pattern to them but they're getting awfully short and they're a little sticky they're a little sticky so that is going to be replaced with a new one now there is uh, quite a bit of junk that's on here that I'll clean off now this is where those points ride, or those brushes ride, is on these two areas here. And mine look pretty good. Make sure you're... Let me zoom you in on that one. This is the area that the brushes ride on. And mine have a nice color to them. They're not black. Um, they still are viable. What you can do is you can turn your pulley and make sure that there's no plastic underneath of here. It's mounted to a, a like a plastic shaft or a metal shaft. And as long as you don't see anything coming through um, the brass or copper, or I guess this is brass, uh, coming through there, then that portion of your alternator is good. So I'm going to say this one's good. You can take some light sandpaper uh, to these. I wouldn't go anything rougher than probably 2,500 grit. But I'm going to clean this out right now with um, some electric parts cleaner. And we'll see how she does. Be right back. All right. Get a rag and just wipe that area off. And let me give you another close up. So I've cleaned that up. Just with some spray. She looks good. I'm not going to touch it any more than that. 
Let me set you back up. Sorry, sorry for the shakiness of the video. So now we're going to take our new voltage regulator and we're going to set this down on here like so. And when we set it down, this kind of pops up because those brushes sat right down in their spot. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the new cover and set that right on top. So that's insulated now from all the goings on inside the alternator. So now the uh, the rest of it is just the reverse of removing it. And we'll put the very small screws in. And they're tight. Now this um, stuff that was on top of those screws, it's a, a foam material. And I'm just going to reuse it. I'm just going to set it right on top. And um, I'm thinking that the uh, case will probably kind of hold that down. And it shouldn't uh, shouldn't come out anywhere. But we'll go ahead and bolt down the voltage regulator here. Our case back on or our cover excuse me And that is all there is to replacing the voltage regulator and the brushes on a C5 Corvette alternator. Um, this piece was around $50. I bought it off of eBay, off of an electronics, um, electronics store, and I can't remember the name of it. It's been a while since I... Uh, since I um, bought it but it was around 50 bucks and um, I'll try to find it and leave a link in the description and I'm not going to put this on right away because again I'm going to try to clean this case up uh, let me uh, see if I can get the number of this part number of this uh, alternator for you It's made in France, France, so it surrenders quickly. But that's the part number, or the reference number, in case anyone's interested. Uh, 
Um, again, the reason why I replaced this piece was a couple of things. Um, again, my, my voltage regulator or my voltage um, gauge in the, uh, in the Corvette would be low at times and then it would get up back to normal and it just didn't seem like it, the alternator was responding very well. I never got a warning light on the dash or anything, but I don't know. It just seemed a little funny to me. The other thing that um, I've been having a problem with is the um, pull key wait 10 seconds error. And I've done the LMC5. Um, I've made sure my battery is fully charged. Uh, I've made sure all my grounds have been good underneath the hood. And um, once in a while, I still get that error message. So uh, I don't know. This is probably not related to that, but I figured I'd give it a shot anyway. But uh, hopefully, um, you know, I know there's there's no rock solid cure for uh, for that for that error message that I know of. Uh, after doing a lot of research on the uh, Corvette forum and talking to uh, a couple guys on there. But anyway, that's it for um, the voltage regulator. It's super simple to do. Um, obviously, it takes less than 10 minutes. This video is probably about 10 minutes long. And um, if your alternator is in need of that and it doesn't need um, a new winding or um, bearings, then you can get away with just replacing that voltage regulator and away you go. These, uh, I can tell you that these brushes are, are a little sticky. You can feel them. So they've got some some wear in there and obviously they're they're pretty low so compared to the new ones so i'm happy i did that and um, i'll hold on to this in case i need it and that's it if you have any questions comments concerns leave them down in the in the box and uh we'll catch you soon